Today, I've got the pleasure of showing you around the beautiful Solaris 47 Emma Cachura. But first of all, you're in for a bit of a treat. We've got some rather nice sailing footage of the yacht here on the West Solent. In sort of Force 4 building to Force 5 conditions, the yacht displaying her talents sheer by and um, resplendent flag blue top sides. Rather nice view of the transom there, twin wheels, broad uncluttered side decks. Teak covered with a light grey caulking. You get a good view of the carbon southern spars furling boom there, which houses a fully battened mainsail. The yachts from 2016's, as are the sails and all of the equipment. The yacht is pretty much as she left the factory. A nice panning view of the transom. The yacht is still in her original ownership. Nice detail there of the uh, self-tanking foresail as the vessel makes her way relatively effortlessly to windward. I'd say although the owner's got some crew on board today, he does sail the yacht most of the time by himself. So now for a more detailed look. Here we are on the aft deck, twin wheels, spacious cockpit, all the lines led aft there as you can see to two banks of jammers. Let's walk along that furling boom. Hydraulic kicker, Solomar flush hatches, all lines led aft underneath the deck to those two banks of jammers so you see the recessed self-tacker there as well. Fore deck, we have a large sail locker, and forward of that you have the anchor locker which houses the electric windlass. And bow roller there just to get the anchor clear of the bow. Through deck furler, again a nice fitting, that was an upgrade. So a quick peek into that cavernous sail locker as you can see. Lots of room for fenders and sails. You can just see there on the mirroring lines as well, she has retractable cleats. In detail there of the Solomar flush hatches. Looking aft, she's very low profile coach roof, which is, is lovely. It makes it a very easy deck to work. And also when you're at the aft of the boat, the visibility forward is amazing. Quick view of the rig there, three spreader, aft swept. Radar scanner. It's a white painted aluminium rig. And as I said, the boom is southern spars, and that's carbon. Self-tacking track nicely recessed into the deck. Deck gear, incidentally, is all Harkin. Beautifully constructed piece of engineering, the uh, furling boom. Composite chain plates. So no through deck fittings there on the tow rail, which is nice. Midship cleats, midship gates, moving aft. So again, there's a glimpse of the two banks of winches there and the two sets of jammers, and they are fitted to both port and starboard. So all your control lines run aft to the cockpit. And in this instance, both the uh, Hark and Performa 60 winches are electric on both sides. So that's four electric winches in total. B&G plotter, radar, And over to the port pedestal, we've got ceiling instrumentation, repeaters, autopilot controls. There's also a B&G remote. 
detail there, that's the, the opening transom, which is hydraulically operated. There's deck access to the transom locker, although once you open the transom on the hydraulic rams, you've then access to the dinghy garage, and that houses the uh, dinghy transversely. Drop down swim ladder, because there's an integral ladder down onto the swim platform as well. Again, you have deck access to the aft locker. Supports there for the feet for going upwind. So that's a great view forward. Again, the low profile coach roof offers fantastic visibility while sailing. Detail of the Performa 60 winches there on port. In detail on starboard and deck speakers there as well, in case you hadn't noticed. And to say all four winches on this particular yacht are powered up two speed Harkin Performa 60s. Shallow lazarette there on the cockpit seating on the starboard side as well. Lovely detail here, the spray hood drops beneath the teak panel, so it's simply a question of lifting the teak, raise the spray hood, which extends quite far back, and then replace the teak. So you have a seamless trough to hold the uh, spray hood. We wouldn't want to interfere with those flush decks. Looking aft, gates either side. This yacht features soft guard lines as well at Dyneema. And now for the interior. So here we are. Emicatura features a bleached oak interior with a, an off-white fabric upholstery throughout and matching cabin sole. Some accent lighting there beneath the panels around the hull windows. Two chairs there by the saloon table. Those can be fixed in position while at sea. Looking aft, outboard facing nav station. The hull windows, you've got twin deck hatches obviously above you, but the uh, hull windows allow the light to flood in as well, making for a very bright and airy interior. And they offer a nice view as well, particularly on a mooring like this. Nav station, chart table, removable stool, and then we have VHF detail. Again, there is a cordless VHF up in the cockpit as well. Webasto heating there, generator controls on the side. The engine compartment there housed beneath the steps. This particular vessel carries a Volvo D275. You can see a fuel filter detail there as well, up on the side of the engine bay. White-faced aluminium lining throughout. Detail of the sea chest there, just in front of the engine as well, easily accessible, as is the raw water pump there. L-ship galley. The yacht has a top-loading freezer in the corner of the work surface. It also has a front-loading additional fridge, Alps stainless steel stove, and twin stainless sinks. Nice detail on the end of the galley there is just a little lift-up panel just to extend the work surface. I should mention LED deck head lighting throughout as well. LED nav lights also. Having 
quick peek into the aft heads. Planus electric glues, both fore and aft, with holding tanks. Plenty of stowage above the, the sink there, mixer faucet. Shower faucet in the corner. Particularly nice detail here is the carbon surfaces in the galley. The moving aft on port, large double with high level shelving and cupboards there outboard and then hanging stowage and cupboards beside the berth. The reading lights and opening hatches to the coach roof as well and to the cockpit, so extra ventilation there. Largely mirrored on the starboard side, again ample double. And this little side shelf and hanging stowage. Okay, so moving forward, kill step mast as you can see, we enter the owner's cabin, large center line double berth, lots of stowage below and a rather handy feature, the bed is on rams as well so it lifts up to give you access to the stowage below, which is quite a useful feature. White side panels, again with accent lighting. High level cupboards throughout, additional storage. And again, separate shower stall in the owner's heads. Thermostatically controlled mixer faucet. And the carbon detail again in the work surfaces. Lots of hanging stowage there. So I think really it's, uh, it's an interior that could be well described as super stylish. It's a truly beautiful boat. As you may have noticed, the yacht lives on a mooring, so viewing is by appointment. An additional note, Solaris will be attending Southampton Boat Show. We're on stand M353 at the 2019 Southampton Boat Show where we will be exhibiting the new Solaris 44. I trust you enjoyed your quick look around Emicatura. Any further inquiries, please don't hesitate to get in touch.